Hey, what's going on, guys? Swagalicious MC here, and today we are actually going to be doing something a little bit different than we normally do. I just decided for all you people that have small growing YouTube channels and want to make a cool custom outro, I just decided to make this tutorial just for that purpose. So if you want to see how, stay tuned. It is extremely easy. It's actually, well, I mean, it would definitely be a lot easier than you think. I mean, this definitely does not require a lot of skill with Photoshop or any of that so yeah I am actually in paint.net right now that's what I use but you can um, actually make this using Photoshop paint.net or even PowerPoint which I'm sure most of you guys already have PowerPoint so okay now what you're gonna want to do first is just take a screenshot of Minecraft anywhere like if you want to record if you want to um take a screenshot of just like maybe like a nice background with a bunch of trees or a cool house or something then just go for it or what you could do if you just want a plain background you can just go ahead and um do that yourself like you can just take a bucket and obviously fill it in with whatever color you want but if you want to actually have a Minecraft screenshot as your background then you want to go into file open and if you guys already um know how to do this then you're just going to want to skip this part but okay I'm actually already in there but what you're going to want to do is go to percent app data percent go down to dot Minecraft into screenshots and then scroll down find the one you like and just like double click it obviously and there you go so now what you're gonna want to do is if you haven't already you're gonna want to go into um google and let me quickly get out of bucket mode just in case they accidentally bucket this whole thing but you're gonna want to go into google and just search up a youtube subscribe button it can be any subscribe button i don't care if it's like blue purple i don't honestly care just whatever you want it to be and just basically um save that image and then what you're gonna, gonna want to do is go down here click on add new layer and then basically you can just drag the image into here click on paste and then it should appear somewhere and you can move it or move it around as you like now you can actually um uh in the options i believe or in the settings you can actually toggle this little um um centering bar i guess you could call it up here so if you want to center everything then that that, that would honestly be the best option but Okay, so I actually already have a YouTube button downloaded, so let me go into open, let's go search around in downloads, and there it is. Now, for those of you that don't know, let's just say, oh, you download a subscribe button, and there's a background to it, like, see, there's a background right there. Now, let's say you don't want that, just go to wand and select that cut it one select cut and there you go now when you copy this it won't actually show any of the background so if you do find one that does have a little bit of background that's basically how you're going to want to do it but okay I, I just went ahead and pasted it accidentally did that into new layer but it honestly doesn't matter what layer it is in so let me just go ahead and kind of center this now this is nine inches long so I think this would be about the center. Let me quickly make it smaller, though. Now, remember, you can customize this however you like. If you want to do it exactly as I'm doing it, then go ahead. I honestly don't mind, but okay. So now what you're going to want to do is just go into Shapes and click on, okay, I'm actually already on Rectangle. Now, you can just choose whatever color for this. I mean, it's not going to be, this won't actually show um when you're uh editing your when you're editing your outro together so it can just be any color it can be like pink for all i care it can be blue whatever i'm just gonna go with i guess some red or something like that so let me quickly get out of this here go back into shapes and okay so what i'm actually gonna do is i'm gonna start at one inch and just make a rectangle all the way to, I guess, about four inches. Now, this can be whatever size you want, depending on how big your thumbnail is. And you can move this around so whoever you want. I'm actually going to move it a bit lower here. Just right there looks about good. So, okay. Now, you're just going to want to go ahead. If you want to make it a little easier on yourself, I guess you could always copy that. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just make it like this, just in case you guys don't know how to copy it or something like that. I honestly don't know, but okay, so let me go ahead and extend it to there. Now I'm going to kind of make this shorter just to kind of match the other one. Now if you're in PowerPoint, I believe there is um, a better centering option. Basically, it might auto-center it with the other one. So, I mean, I'm just doing it in Paint.net because this seems like it would be the hardest to... Um, I guess hardest to understand because most people either use Photoshop or as I said there are a lot of you that probably have PowerPoints but 
Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is just exit out of this little box area by clicking on anything. Go into Paintbrush, or no, wait, not Paintbrush, so go into Text, and then you can just make this text whatever you want. I'm actually going to do a Minecraft text just for video purposes. Now, this you can make whatever color you want. I might go ahead and do a black drop shadow behind it. I'll go ahead and make that 28, I think would be about good. And then basically just underneath it, you can write something like previous um, video. And then on your other one, you can do something like random video. If you only want to have one of these boxes just for either your previous or random video, then that's okay too. But yeah, so now you can just go ahead and make another text box and make it previous video and I'm just doing a drop shadow because I thought that would kind of look nice now if you guys don't want to do that then that's perfectly okay I mean this is your intro guys don't think I need to, uh, your intro needs to look exactly like this but okay so let me quickly go ahead and do the same thing over here um random video let me go ahead center the video part of that and okay so there we go now I went ahead added that in and yeah, that's actually pretty much it. If you want to do anything else, like if you maybe want to insert your, oh, I don't know, maybe your Facebook or Twitter or something, you can maybe do that right next to your subscribe button or wherever. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but yeah, so pretty much all there is to it after this is in the YouTube editing software. I believe there is an option where you can actually add your video into here. Um, but if you want to keep it a little simpler than that, you can always just open a new file and basically just put your original thumbnail in here. That's what I did for a while, but totally up to you. I honestly can't be the judge of your intro, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. If you guys have enjoyed, be sure to slam that like button down below. If you want more of these tutorials, if you enjoyed this tutorial, then just comment down below. I mean, I would be happy to do a lot more of these, but yeah, anyways, I will talk to you guys.